like this will be your trauma scenario, the tools that you need to perform this, rubber gloves, safety glasses, stethoscope, and pen light. All right. BSI seen safe. Seen is safe. Mechanism of injury, trauma in nature. I have one patient. You have one patient? One patient. I'm going to request additional ALS support. All right, 10 minutes out. 10 minutes out. We're going to have Casper hold C spine. All right, my general patient is a 20 year old male in severe distress. And we're going to attempt to get a level of consciousness. Sir, sir, can you hear me? No response. Trap pinch? No response. All right, so this patient's chief complaint is that they're unconscious, unresponsive. All right, I'm going to check for any apparent life threats. Do I see any apparent life threats? No apparent life threats. All right, I'm going to move into airway. I'm going to perform a jaw thrust maneuver, open the airway, look inside. I'm going to measure an OPA and insert that. Do they accept the OPA? Accepts OPA. Okay. Move down to the chest. You want to expose the chest. And at this point, I'm going to check for rate, rhythm, quality, and tidal volume. Yeah, they're breathing at 18, regular, and unlabored. All right, with that information, I'm going to put them on a non rebreather at 15 liters per minute. And then I'm going to assess for any secondary injuries that may um, affect the airway. All right, and then I'm going to move into circulation, checking radial pulses. Okay, they're present. And then I'm going to pull the back of my glove back and check the skin. Uh, pale, cool, and diaphoretic. All right, so this person needs to be treated for shock. They're already on O2, and I can cover them with a warm blanket. And at this point, I'm going to perform a blood sweep, detailed blood sweep, starting at the top, pulling out, checking my hands. No blood is noted. All right, so this is going to be a high priority transport. I'm going to attempt to find a sample from anybody. Does anybody know this patient? No bystanders present. All right, I'm going to have Casper get a set of vitals for me blood pressure, respiration, circulation, SpO2. Your blood pressure is 90 over 50, uh, heart rate is 110, respirations are 18, and SpO2 is 98 on O2. Okay, at this point, I'm going to perform my secondary assessment. Starting at the top of the head, checking for DCAP, BTLS, deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. Checking above the eyes, checking below the eyes, checking the hand, watching the upper, upper lip, checking the mandible. At this point, I'm going to check for pearl, pupils equal and round and reactive to light. And then I'm gonna look inside the ears for cerebral spinal fluid and blood. I'm gonna look behind the ears for battle signs. Look in the ear for cerebral spinal fluid, blood, and behind the ear for battle signs. Remove the OPA or the uh, non rebreather. Look in their nose for any singed nose hairs or deviated septum. And look again in their mouth for anything that may now be obstructing the airway. And put their mask back on. I'm gonna check for tracheal deviation, jugular vein distension, and I'm gonna check for back of their neck from C2 to C7 for any step, off, step offs or any bulging. All clear. At this point, I'm going to have Casper put a C collar on and I'm going to move down, checking the collarbone. At this point, I'm going to oscillate all six points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to move down to their abdomen, checking for any rebounding, tenderness, or mass, looking up to see if there's any response or grimace. Then I'll go check the groin for the four P's, or pee, poop, priapism, and pregnancy. Check the pelvis, squeezing in, pushing down, checking for any crepitus or instability. Then I'm going to go down, pushing with opposing force. All right, I'm going to check CSMs, check radial pulse. Present. All right, sir, without looking, can you tell me which finger I'm touching? No response. Good job. 
Sir, can you squeeze my finger? No response. Good job. Sir, without looking, can you tell me which finger I'm touching? No response. Can you squeeze my finger? Doesn't respond. All right. Checking for fetal pulse. They're present. Yeah, present. Sir, without looking, can you tell me which toe I'm touching? No response. Can you push down on my hand? No response. Can you lift up on my hand? Doesn't respond. Without looking, can you tell me which toe I'm touching? No response. All right. Can you push down on my hand? Doesn't respond. Can you push up, pull up on my hand? No response. On Casper's count, we're going to roll this patient. One, two, three. We're going to check the spine. Coming down, check again for pee, poop, and priapism. Then we're going to oscillate six points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then on Casper's count, we're going to roll this person back down onto a backboard. One, two, three. And then I'm going to manage any secondary injuries and um, reevaluate every five minutes.